Welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 with me, Squawk. And when we left off, times were very exciting for the Chinese Empire, were they not? As you can see, we've now entered the modern era and everything's got this really cool modern sheen now. It looks really awesome, actually. Um, reminds me a bit of Battlefield 4, if you get what I mean. Um, Seeds of Shanghai is probably my favourite map on it, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. Uh, and we finished Atomic Theory, so we do have access to nuclear projects. And also, we'd agreed with Mongols that we would go to war with the English nine turns from now. Um, I'm keeping a little timer that will pop up at the start of every turn, just so I can remind myself and remind you how close we are. Probably turn 379 we will be going to war, so it's not this episode, but we're going to start getting ready and start drawing up a plan, actually. plan would be, I will probably attack from the east more than the west. I mean, I'm going to make my foothold here, of course, in Delhi and Mumbai. But we have direct naval access to the English from Shanghai and Chengdu and Xi'an, so yeah. So we, we could fight them on two fronts, actually, and I think this will be a very good war for me. But enough of the intro, let's get on with the episode. So, notifications, first things first. Someone's up for promotion. This brave artillery which has been bombarding the shit out of Delhi. Um, you will be given siege. And how are we doing for Delhi? Very low health, and there is a great general hiding out there, so we, at least we could deprive Gandhi of one when we can. Must, ah, you're approaching Mr. Ballsy Infantry. You're going to be called... I'm going to give you a name since your services to the Empire, actually. I'm, I'm in a happy mood because I'm playing Civilization V and not Mountain Blitz. So I just had a, had a very bad game on it, which you will have probably have seen by now. I was not a happy squawker due to certain people. You're going to be called Big Balls. Well done, big balls. Um, you'll be instant healed for now because I need you at full strength, preferably, because we don't have enough reinforcements. Oh, and we have found uranium, by the way. We've got some here, near Madrid, so these works will be up and mining it. Sadly, some farms have grown on top of it. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on There's some there. Uh, where's this one? Ooh, look at that, uranium growing here. It's all in Spain, so good we took Spain over. But look at that. Looks like some sort of evil nuclear octopus is trying to escape from the ground. And we've got some... Ooh, growing just outside Honolulu. We've got plenty of works around there. That is excellent. And who else? Ooh. Just outside Kayseri. I'll send... Oh, I'll send you guys next to... Oh, no, wait, you guys. Have we got guys sleeping there? Let's just zoom in. Yeah, you guys are doing nothing, right? Guys. Guys, get get this shit mined up. Uh, where was it? Oh, it was here. Oh, get that shit mined up next turn. Right, also, on the agenda for today, our trade route is actually fixed. I guess you'll have looked at it by now, but yes, we are reaping back our gold profits. So, yep. Our railroad is ra operational, pretty much. So, yep. Movement time to cut down, and I'm no longer poor. So I don't have to ask anyone for loans anymore, but we still have a lot of stuff to fix up from the random anti-tanking spawning. So yeah, most of these notifications are just telling me about my treasure to back up and running. So yeah, let's just get through them all. Yay, trade. And of course we've got to pick a new technology, so let's pick one. I was thinking flight today. Oh, but hang on, nuclear. Oh, hello. What's fission do? I see a mushroom cloud. Nuclear fission is required to build the atomic bomb. Unleashes nuclear destruction on your foes, massive damage to cities, and damages any units caught in a blast radius. Can be stationed on an aircraft carrier. See, the prerequisite for that though would be flight, and I'd rather get flight done now because I think we could planes wouldn't play a bit of a role in the war against England. So we could get, if we could station some aircraft carriers outside Shanghai, or even near Korea, which would be a bit of a risk. Maybe at, maybe at Hanoi, actually. Chinese aircraft could probably hit London. So yeah, we're going to do flight. Flight will give us access to a carrier. And the fighter uh, requires oil, which we've got no shortage of. Um, it's designed really as an air superiority unit, but this will probably lead us to getting stuff like bombers. 
Also, gold, Moai gold yields a proof battle. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Flight it is for us. This will be a very interesting new technology for us. As China will finally take to the skies. And also, we've got a bunch of production to do. We'll just do Bursa now, just to humour it, and then we've got a lot of stuff to do. Put some infantry up. Oh, yeah, and one thing. How is Beijing doing? Let's see. Beijing, Beijing. Beijing is currently building infantry. How long will it take? Four turns. Right, I'll let that infantry build, and then we're setting Beijing off on the Manhattan Project. I didn't do my deep voice there properly. <coughs> Man Hatton. No, you can barely hear it now. Man Hatton. No, that doesn't work. Hmm, how do I say this epic word? Man Hatton Project. Yep, got it. So, four turns till we start building the Man Hatton Project. Anyway, let's bombard things because I'm wasting time now. Bombard Delhi, please. Kaboomy, 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 your smooth deli, right? Yep, I think we've pretty much got this one wrapped up. Right, infantry, do you just wanna... Yeah, infantry, you just go in. Thank you, good night, thank you, India, for your lovely capital city. I'll be sure not to wreck it. <laughs> one step closer to domination for Squawker. Oh, <laughs> we ranked them. Oh, not only have we taken the capitals, we've eliminated the Indians from the game. <laughs> oh, why am I turning into a joker rather? It's goodbye, Gandhi. You won't be missed. That could be bad in context, but whatever. Thank you. You are. Oh god, we're only on four and happy. Oh well. Once we get the courthouse up, we will actually nearly be on top of our habits, but yeah. And next. Yes. Oh, hello, economic advisor. You picked some nice modern clothes. But I mean, sorry. Sorry, British. We don't do sex. But sadly, I've, I haven't got as much as I wanted from India because now we only border the Danes. So if we were to go with. To, yeah, our war of England is going to be entirely naval. Right. So I guess the Iroquois would have been next on my shit list then, but annoyingly we've got some English to deal with, so yeah. Iroquois lift for the minute, we'll fortify our position up here, and yeah, any uranium here? Uh, doesn't look like it, unless we put up the resource tab, oh no no no, oh don't, that's, that's the game view I don't like, where is the resource tab? Resources, what is around here? See horsey, uh, nothing exactly thrilling is here. Oh well. Oh well. Um, so marble is available in Delhi, which gives us a nice little production boost. India is out. Um, I guess if we, yet yeah, can we? Yep, yeah, we can confirm India is now out. Um, oh look, wow! I've got a lot of messages from the economic advisor. Forty messages. God, the science advisor doesn't even bother me. Foreign advisor. We need to continue f exploring the seas. Lady, there's nothing out there. And the military advisor, well, he's just trying to blow everyone the fuck up. That's why he's my best beer drinking friend. Right. I feel a bit loose end. I feel like I should actually end the episode just because we've taken over India. Oh, well. Let's get ready for war. Um... Right, you guys have just taken over some oil, so right, you guys look at all these lovely desert oil wells that used to be owned by Arabia, by the way. Okay, you guys get to work on the farm, and you guys, you fixed the railways. Uh, ooh, those marshes could use clearing up. Get right on it, my son. And uh, yeah, actually, while we're here, let's start redirecting military units. Because we've only got nine turns until hostilities officially begin, so I want to I want to get my units actually moving now. Because it, it's probably going to take us more than ten turns actually to reach um, London. Cause we're, yeah, we're, we're just going to hit London. May have to hit York, which feels like suicide to me. Yeah, it's going to take thirteen turns just to get here from Beijing. I think. 
Let's just double check. Do I have open borders with the Danes? I better check. Wish there was a better way of seeing what deals I have going on this one. He'll die. Hello, mate. Uh, do we have open borders? Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Whatever you said. Uh, not really. Um, do you want to do a research agreement, actually? Um, you know, just so you can help me get more nukes. Uh, you want something a little extra? Iron? Five iron? Yeah, you stroke that magnificent beard, you magnificent bastard. Right, thank you for the research agreement. Don't know why I did one, but you know what? It's because we've got open borders anyway, I guess. So, yeah. Is there a better... Is there... Ah, here we are. Overviews, of course. Right, let's just double check with... Miss, yeah. Defensive pact. Oh, we have a defensive pact? When did we sign that? Huh. Oh well. I guess that was happening. Oh well. We're at war. We're not war with Danes, but oh well. We could pass through their lands, I think. So I can send a small force south from India through Denmark up to England. And that does me just fine. So get moving. Um, so actually, yeah, well, I'm not going to redirect any troops. We'll, we'll stick with a plan. Any troops produced now, though, will be sent directly to England and not through India. You guys are going to move up here and keep working on the railroads. You guys, there is some uranium that could use a bit of mining. It's not here, though, is it? No. So it's near Madrid, isn't it? Oh well, you guys. Ba, 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 ba. There's a nice empty tile there. Go and develop it for me. Make something cool with it. Any production? Delhi, I'm going to set you up with. I don't even put a monument up, the bloody idiot. Get to work on the monument because there's tiles there that I want that. I don't want the Iroquois to have, and I'll buy you a courthouse when we have the money. And on top of that, I also need to buy one for the Akbar, but we'll deal with that later. Any more production? Arsenal done in Shanglo. Nice. Do your workshop. Why don't you have your workshop, you silly city? No, do your workshop. Come on, Shanglo, register my orders. Good boy. Next turn, then. So, no Indians anymore. Just. Well, yeah, we've got the Ottomans. Oh, Suleiman, you, no, Suleiman is not going to call me Iroquois. Let's just, oh, the only thing that could fuck us up right now, actually, is if someone declares war on me out of the blue. Oh, well, Korea did not take its hint there. Polynesia, no. Aztecs, no. Denmark, no. England, no. England. I don't know if England know about this deal. I guess we don't, unless Genghis is very bad at keeping secrets. But yeah, I'm going to start building up military around Elizabeth, because let's face it, she hates my guts as much as Korea does. So yeah. City states, city states, city states, city states. Come on, city states. Are you going to give me anything today? Losing grasp on Genoa. Which one was Genoa? Oh, Gen Genoa was this one, wasn't it? Um, we can get a camera on it. Oh, I don't care about losing. Gen Ooh, hello, though, but there's uranium near Genoa. Uh, gonna have to kill him that. And we got a new. Ooh! Hello, Almaty. Is that a tank you have given me? Come into that icon. Where is Almaty? Uh, oh! Look what. You and a great engineer. Um, thank you, Almaty, for this bountiful, bountiful <laughs> gift. We have a tank. Three tanks to be precise. But yeah. Cheers, buddy. Um, give you a shock. Hopefully they're amphibious, because I'm sending them to England. You guys get to work on developing shit. Uh, where's our great engineer? I have a cunning plan. Um, where's Beijing? Beijing, you've suddenly stopped building infantry. You're going to suddenly... 19 turns to build the Manhattan Project. Alright, that is... Actually, that's not that long. 19 turns I can do with, but... 
Mr. Great Engineer here has the ability to, ooh, I don't know, boost production. So, yeah. And as for, right, Delhi, big balls, you're gonna just garrison and recover your health. And actually, where's that worker for, right, you guys. You're not doing that marsh anymore. The road, the road to Shangla looks a bit broken. You're gonna bloody fix it. Look at that. I have to force my great engineer to travel in that weird steam thing. We can get our camera on it again, yeah. Weird thing. I have to be forced to travel in that. Disgraceful. Anyway, Mr. Tank Wank. Mr. Tank, you are to be shipped to England. So, yeah. How long will it take you? How long would that take? Uh, uh, we're going to have to ship. I'll ship that. Well, it's boot. Right. Five turns to reach Shanghai, so that's enough for me. Okay, so, yep. Losing Grasp on Genoa, but to be honest, I don't care. They don't really give me anything. You guys keep moving along. You artillery, you are your Indian artillery, so just keep moving north. Sit somewhere where we can put pressure on the English. Um. Might approach the Danes about going to about joining in this war, but not just yet. I'll wait till like the last minute. Unless Mongolia is like building a coalition, which would be cool. Right, is that everyone? Next turn. Everyone? Next turn. Nope, someone had to move. Oh and a worker needs orders. Right, car carbordo workers. <laughs> There isn't actually anything left for you to do. Oh wait, those railroads aren't finished, you lazy bastards. Right, get to work on them. Get working on those railroads. I don't like them ending suddenly. You guys, you are on a uranium mine, so get to work on the uranium mines. I'm gonna get us some serious uranium. Next turn, please. Look, he's found it. The horrible green goo of God. There. Korea has announced Mongolia because Mongolia is an independent, free-thinking, amazing country that Korea hates because Korea is a bitch. Oh, and no one likes Polynesia. Denmark, 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 you better be working on my research agreement to get me flight early. But I can quickly do nuclear fission and kablooey. We'll bomb everything. England, 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 you are taking too long, This could, you could be conspiring against me for all I know, which would be annoying and deadly. Come on Mongolia, be amazing, city state, be super amazing and hurry the fuck up. Ooh, that was a nice stretch from me that you can't see. I just had to stretch because, yeah, I don't have a very comfortable chair when I game. I really should have got around to buying a gaming chair, but you know what it is like. Student budget. I'm poor, so I buy Xbox Ones. And Call of Duty Advanced Warfare pretty hard a Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4. Student woes. Then again, I get paid in vouchers, so... Right, what are taking these city states so long? Right, there we go. Right, so barely anything in world news, we can just get on with this turn. So let's get on with this turn. Eisenbad, Kingdom Brunel, you've been kidnapped from England. Why is the Manhattan Project only taking 28 pissing turns? Right, you're out of moves, I'm assuming so. Right, we can boost this wander up next turn. Um, but yeah. Anyone else need orders? Or can you do it? Can you? No. Right, I'll make him do nothing for this turn. Do nothing. Do nothing. I'll boost you next episode. I mean, turn. Um, you guys do a trading post. You guys build a mine? Why is there a, is there a uranium down? You've just been asked to build a mine. Or can we mine on flatlands now? Is that what we're getting at? Or is that a hill? Oh, it is a hill. Alright, mind that hill, please, sonny boy. Um, that was a bit weird. Alright, you guys, you've built that railroad. Um, where's the ura there's uranium. Get to work on mining the shit out of it. 
Yes, we'll consume the tile improvement, but there's uranium there and I want it. Castle has been built in Latchia, giving us a nice little boost to our happiness. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, Statue of Liberty, we can build that now. Plus one production from specialists in every... Alright, that is actually a good wonder, but we're not going to put it in Wallachia because it won't work. Uh, work on the theatre. And... What was I going to do? I was just going to do something I've forgotten. Oh, it'll come back to me. Um, right, who else is going to work? Right, you guys do a mine. You guys... Why is that... That pasture has never been repaired in its life, hasn't it? Because you guys can't be bothered. Just get to work. Just making everything into farmlands until we find more uranium. Then we'll mine it up again. You guys, big balls, get moving. Oh yeah, but I remember what I was going to do. Dilly! You're going to get a courthouse. Oh wait, we can't because you're still in resistance, of course. How long are you in resistance for? Ten turns? Right, that courthouse is going to, to um, Diakbar. Screw you. Diakbar, enjoy your courthouse. And it's Wheel of the King Day as well there, by the way. Look, yep, Wheel of the King Day. They love me for buying courthouses. And it gets rid of a little bit of unhappiness. Good for me. Who needs production? Hangzhou. Hangzhou, Hangzhou, Hangzhou. You can do... Ooh, what's a forge do? Extra production for land units. Go for it. Then get to work on land units. No one else. Workers. Keep working on those railroads. Make me lots of money. Anyone else? Anyone else? Nope. Artillery. Okay. Uh, da -da, keep moving. While well, we're here, we're going to do a sneaky scouting of um, Danish territory as well. Sneaky Squawker is sneaky. See, look. Danish farms. Look what we've discovered. Next turn, please. See, these guys moved without shitting themselves and demanding you. I accept this one. He shit himself and needs a new order. Keep moving. Right, is that everyone? Next turn, please. Ottomans, it requires do their shit. Well, because they're at war with each other, but they're really just not very good at going at war. Korea hates me so much because they stole the bloody Great Wall. Polynesia does nothing. The Aztecs hate me because. He just lives off for banter culture and Denmark is awesome. England is gonna be killed soon and the Mongols are awesome, but the English won't let them have their turn. And then after we get over the palaver of the Mongol turn, we have to put up with the bloody city states who take forever to do their bloody turn. Bloody city states. Come on. Hanoi wants Helsinki eliminated. Right, where the hell is Helsinki? Yes, that was an amazing joke on my part. Right, Helsinki, Helsinki. Oh, look, the Polynesians did move. Settled a new city on the city-state island. Where no one gives a shit about them. Um, where the hell is Helsinki, though? Um, it doesn't exist, according to me. So I don't care. Right, ism capping. Oh, you're not allowed to boost this, are you? I guess it does. I guess you can't hurry wonders because that's cheating. Oh, so there we are. 27 turns for some reason until the Manhattan Project is complete. Where else could I use you then? Is there a big? Pro I could just. I could just set off a, a city off on a ridiculously big project, actually. Get a free building. I'll start a golden age, but to be honest, I don't want one. Um, let's see, is there anything stupid you can build? No, but what's an observatory? Extra science, go for it. Could always use a bit of extra science. Shanghai, anything ridiculous you can build? No! Okay, what about the Statue of Liberty? 32 turns. Well, it does cost a lot of productions, and it looks like a nice place to put it. Let's be ironic and put the Statue of Liberty in Shanghai. Screw you, America. 
isn't backing the Brunel. I'm assuming you can't boost it, but you know what? It's worth checking. Never give up. Maybe it's just a Manhattan project because of, you know, the fact that it allows nukes. Unlocking the power of the atom one turn at a time. Keep moving and keep building railroads, you guys. Tank. Right, Tank, you are in a lovely position to um, get moving. So, yeah. Let's see. We're about 13 turns to reach English waters, I'm guessing. You know what, frigates? You are back under my control. You are to sail back to England. Wow, you, you're quite far north up there, buddy, as well. Just more ice ice glaciers up here, though. You're not exactly interesting up north. But you're going to make your way all the way back down to English waters, because they have a big navy that we're going to have to be ready to counter. And is that everyone else? Right, productions. Finished a monument in Ankara. Um, uh, anything we can build, maybe a bank, a temple, theatre, yeah, go for a theatre, just do a theatre. Anyone else? Water wheel done in Istanbul, Istanbul, do some walls please. Is that everyone? No, Istanbul, do your bloody walls. Workers, workers need orders, and don't they need orders? Okay, go to that hill and uh, connect Guangzhou to my railway network like a good little worker. When you can be asked. Come on, get working. Everyone done? Of course not. Artillery, okay. Venture into Danish territory and don't start a war. Ooh, look, there's a city of jelling. The jelly city, of course. Right. Great general, you, oh, and there's Oslo. Right, the capital's on my doorstep. What's stopping me from just declaring war and taking this? Nothing. Goodbye, Denmark. Oslo's, actually, no. I'm not going to, I'm pretty sure capital's, He'll yeah. die. Sorry, false call. Bye. I don't think Oslo, no, Oslo's not the capital of Denmark, is it? No, it's Copenhagen. What am I talking about? Have we found Copenhagen? Yeah, it's way over there, right? Everything's stopping me from going to war because I'll be bogged down fighting my way northwards. Sorry, Denmark. Didn't mean it. Just ignore the artillery wandering around. We're just trying to make our way to England. Like we do. Keep moving, lads. Keep moving. Anyone else for orders? Worker, you've done that trading post quite nicely. I'm sending you north to capture that uranium. Get to work on it. Like a good little worker. Once we get our happiness back, actually, I'm gonna put... Oh, wait, there's more there. Oh, we need to put a city there. We need to put a city there to capture it. Like a smart person. You know what, infantry, you can turn back and sail to England because, yeah, screw you. Uh, you're on the railways anyway, so get back to the... Uh, 15 turns. Alright, I'll do that. I'm guessing it. Oh, they're heading north. Oh, actually, that's one way of doing it. We can circumvent. Yeah, and then land, land you at Nottingham. Yeah, good idea. Uh, I'm a genius when it comes to moving troops. Alright, is that everyone? Yep, right, here we go then. Ottomans just doing their thing. I think. Or is the game lying? Nope. Iroquois. Korea. Korea, Polynesia, Aztecs, Denmark, England. Mongolia, city-states, take the piss. Like, really? Oh, well, I can hear the nice music of a game as well. It's all nice and Chinese going. That is the worst impression of Chinese music you've ever heard because Chinese music cannot be recreated with the human tongue. Young Samwise. 
I'm sure one of you others called Samwise. And Denmark's just kicked everyone out. Really? Screw you, Denmark. I just kicked all my units out and ruined my campaign. I'm renegotiating. Denmark, I want my open borders back. Just bloody messed everything up. He'll die. Yes, he'll die. He'll die. Give me my open borders Let's back, you bastard. Open borders for me. Open borders for you. That's a nice fair deal. Good. Goodbye. Wait, bloody, bloody time waster. Right, can you boost that? Yes, you can. Right, we've got ourselves a Statue of Liberty, folks. Well, in nine turns, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, well. Nine turns till the Statue of Liberty. Good for me. Um, right. And, yeah, we ended an ivory deal to Suleiman as well, but that just means more ivory for me, so screw you. Right, we carry on moving through here. Yeah, come on. Come on. Just move through other people's lands. It's polite to move through other people's lands as well. Remember that, if someone's saying, respect my personal space, just walk right through it. And if they declare war on you, it's a nice friendly gesture. As for you... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, there's coal up there. We should try and acquire that tile. Maybe through purchasing it, of course. Uh, but I think it's... Oh, we can't purchase it. Damn. Taldeo, purchase it. Taldeo, you're crap at picking what tiles you want to buy. Right. So we can't get that coal up there. Uh, workers. Wait, you guys were supposed to build a railroad, weren't you? Oh, have you built it and not bothered rendering it? Yeah, you've built the invisible railroad, now you've built the actual rail- And why is it going into a hill? <sighs> God, these people are so incompetent. Right, you guys, go there. And build things when you are ready. Anyone else? Gaius Marius for Gaius. Go here. Uh, why is the Denmark Danish territory so brown, by the way? It's not like India, which is sort of oak. Actually, this continent's just so brown. Look, it's all rustic and shit. I guess that really is a different continent. Why is mine? Look, mine's nice and lush. This one just looks kind of aged. Well played. Well played, Faraxis. Well played. And 20 production has been added to Madrid since I chopped down a forest to mine up some gooey green uranium. Because uranium. I want it. Anyone else need orders? Infantry. Get moving to England, please. Come on. There we go. Nine turns till he reaches it. And about five turns till War of England, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not keeping count in my head. I keep count while I edit videos. You guys get moved to Shanghai. Ten turns to reach Shanghai, but that's because the railways aren't finished. I have them are broken. Right, is that everyone then? Nope, of course not. Why was this game teasing me with a new turn? But we do get a new infantry from um, Almaty. That's always welcome. And our tanks are going to sea as well. This is so cool. Amphibious tanks. You guys repair that tile. Tanks. We've got a nice little voyage ahead of you. So get moving. It's just like invading India again. Except the voyage is a little bit longer. But I think I have open borders with the Mongols. So probably nothing stopping from landing this new Sari. Which to be honest would be a better idea. I'll have to double check. Do we have open borders with... No, 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 no. Don't want that. Um... Diplomacy, overview, right, Genghis, don't have open borders but they can always be negotiated, but that was the last turn of the episode, um, so yeah, next turn, we have made good progress this episode, we've wiped out the Indians, we're moving our military nice and efficiently, and we started the Manhattan Project, so you know, exciting times now, and exciting times yet to come. Oh, we found out that this continent looks aged as fuck. Any new... Oh yeah, and we've got also got our research group with the Danes. That'll come in useful. Just pays off a bit of extra science in my favour. So I can forward my military technologies. 
city states right y'all gonna make the end of the episode take forever and it's nearly 1955 which was the nuclear age by the way which we're sort of hitting a bit late but we're hitting at the right time in a way because nukes i guess we have to wait till one blows up to start the nuclear age but yeah which city will be the first to receive a new king mystery could be anyone could even be you not really if I could pull nukes out of this game into real life, I would be the most powerful person in the world. And probably the most dead. But yeah. Because I don't know how to launch a nuke. I'm not that scientifically minded. Oh, here we go. The world's most one. Oh, bullshit. He's the best person in the world. I'm the most wonderful. Why am I second? Bullshit. Only because he stole the Great Wall like a twat. Kamehameha is renowned as the biggest twat in the world, though. Along with how Bluetooth, which isn't fair, but yeah, bullshit. Bull, bull, bull bollocks. No way Sullivan's, I mean, not Sullivan, Sullivan came quite low. No way Korea's better than me. <laughs> oh well. Next time, invading England and other shit. Goodbye, everyone.